Welcome to 1407 Gray Malkin Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay. Uncanny Spider-Man. <sighs> Better than the devil. Super, super, po super, pos super positional? What the hell? Uh, number three. Written by Cy Spurrier. I hate. Get that twit off the book. Seriously. Um, with Javier Pina, he's good. That boy do it. And Matt Miller as the color artist. Okay. Uh, part three of I think it's gonna be a five part limited series because Cy Spurrier cannot write past one. Uh, no, he can't write past five. We're getting. Like an assessment of like a deviant kaiju, <laughs> and it's Orcus. Apparently, the the guy who is the vulture, he's been working for them, and he's assessing what's going on with Nightcrawler. Not they're trying to figure out. They're trying to figure him out. Nimrod is there as well, and man. I love this. This is cool. <laughs> like, just because you wear the wings of an angel does not mean you make demands of a god. Wow. I wonder. How, I wonder. I really wonder if if the MCU was real. Do they workshop these little phrases? Because I would really like to get in the head of a couple of them. Because some of them say some really deep stuff, and you got that from a robot. It's nuts. So, uh, we get a data page explaining Silver Sable International, or SSI. If you're an American and you know what SSI means, you know that this is really funny. I don't, but I don't think uh, Spurrier actually knows that because you know, he, you know, he's an entitled prick. Um, we we get what. We get what a lot of X Twitter love. Comic book characters, fuck it. And why is it? I always get the feeling Nightcrawler when he's in the middle. He does like. There's a reason why the women in his life keep coming back. And it's cool. And I, I, I'm all, I'm all with it. Um, we get a lot of conversation between uh Kurt and uh the Silver Saber, and I am for it. I mean, I like when they have characters actually have conversation, and not everything has to be a battle. Okay, we can like characters can have conversations. They can we can have quiet I issues. It's not a bad thing, but you know, uh. All in all, like we get some mystique, and like all this is basically a, a lead in to X Men Blue, and I don't like it. So, uh, because of Cy Spurrier, I'm knocking off half. So, but not actually, I'm giving it, I'm giving it a 2.25 because the art is that good. All right, so what do you guys think? Um, uh, in the comments, so let, let's get this, let's get this going. This is fourteen oh seven Grey Malkin.